Hey guys, it's Hannah and today I am coming to you yet again with another book haul. So prior to filming my last book haul, I knew that I was going to be getting some more books in the mail, but I didn't wait until those arrived to film my book haul and just put them all in one because I knew there'd just be too many books to talk about and it would just be overwhelming and really long. So I decided that I would just split it up and whenever these books came, I'd film a separate haul. And then I also ended up buying a couple of more books in between the time that I filmed and uploaded that video and now. So I've accumulated even more books than I was expecting. Yes, I am fully aware that I have no self-control and that this is a problem. Hopefully one day I will get to the point where I can walk into a bookstore and and leave without buying a book but currently that's a really big struggle for me so we'll get there eventually maybe hopefully someday but I have collected a total of eight books ever since filming my last haul and without any further ado let's get into them so the very first book that I have to show you guys here I actually just purchased yesterday and I was very happy to find it because I also found it on sale and that is Career of Evil by Robert Galbraith aka JK Rowling the third book in the Corman Strike novels. I was with a friend yesterday at the bookstore and we were catching up because we hadn't seen each other for a while and then I saw this book there and it was on sale for a really great price and I just like couldn't put it back down so I ended up walking out of the store with it. But I am really happy that I purchased it because now I have all three books in the series so far and they can sit nicely together on my shelf and I can marathon them. Was it necessary? No, but am I happy that I have it now? Yes, so I guess that's what really counts. The next two books I have to show you guys were sent to me by the publisher as part of booktube tours, which if you didn't know is kind of like blog tours and it's being hosted here by Grace from Loving Dumb Books. And I will leave a link to more information on booktube tours if you want to know more about it or if you want to get involved down in the description box. So definitely go check those out if you want to know more. But those two books are The Novice and The Inquisition by Taryn Matharu. This is a YA fantasy series that follows the story of this boy named Fletcher and he has the special ability in this world to be able to summon demons. And they're not demons as in like demons from the Mortal Instruments series or the other demons you're kind of used to seeing. These demons are kind of like companions to the people who can summon them and he ends up going off to train and learn how to use his powers and eventually train to fight in this war that the Empire is having against the orcs who are like the evil kind of race which is very similar to Lord of the Rings in my opinion and just sounds really interesting. So Fierce Reads, the publisher, is also hosting a really awesome giveaway with this book. If you click on the link in the description box it'll take you directly to where you can enter the giveaway and I think one of the prizes is like a signed book plate by the author which is really cool. But also if you end up purchasing a copy of the Inquisition for yourself then you get five extra entries into the giveaway so if you really want to read this book and you want to pick it up, definitely make sure to enter the giveaway and mention that you purchased a copy of the book for yourself. And I will have links to where you can purchase the book and everything down in the description box and stuff about the author. None of them are sponsored or affiliated or anything in any way. They're just direct links to make it easier for you guys if you do want to purchase this book. But I am really excited to get to these books. I think that I'm really going to enjoy them. They've had some pretty great reviews so far from a lot of people that I trust, so I cannot wait to dive in. So this next book that I purchased I actually bought a long time ago but I completely forgot to put it in my last haul and I just completely forgot that I purchased it because I'd already put it on my shelf but I bought this from my local used bookstore and I already had store credit there so technically I didn't pay money for this because I exchanged a book for it. But nonetheless, that book is The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. I've heard countless wonderful things about this book. I've heard a lot of people say that if you love magical realism, you'll really love this one. I've heard that it's also kind of eerie and creepy and all of those things are right up my alley. I'm thinking that I might pick this one up in October, which is quite a ways away, but since it is supposedly supposed to be kind of creepy and eerie, then I think it would be the perfect time to read it. The next book that I have here is technically not exactly a book, but I also got this from my local user bookstore and that is The Beatrice Letters by Lemony Snicket. I read the entire series of Unfortunate Events books 
for the first time last year and all of them made it onto my top books of the year because I loved the series so so much. Honestly the whole relationship between Lemony and Beatrice that's like subtly hinted at throughout the entire series was probably one of my favorite parts of the whole series. Even though you really don't get very much of it, I always just found it so interesting and I wanted to know the backstory and I don't know how much of it you get in here, but if it's at least a little bit of something, I'm thoroughly going to enjoy this. And finally, the last three books I have to show you guys, I ordered from Book Outlet and as many of you probably know, Book Outlet is my weakness as it is many people's weakness because they have so many great books for so cheap and it's so hard to resist. But nonetheless, the very first book that I got from Book Outlet is The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. To be honest, I don't fully know what the plot of this whole story is about. I know that it's partially historical fiction and it takes place in I think like 1680 in Amsterdam, but I know that it's also somewhat magical, so I think it might be slightly like magical realism and have those fantasy-ish aspects to it. And I didn't even really need to hear the plot of the story aside from those two things for me to want to pick this book up. Hopefully I end up really enjoying it and hopefully it has a lot of those magical aspects that I really love. The next book that I purchased from Book Outlet is 100% a cover buy and a genre buy and that is Airborne by Kenneth Opel or Opel. I'm not 100% sure on how to pronounce that so if I'm wrong please correct me in the comments below. This book is a steampunk novel and when I heard that it was steampunk I got really really excited because technically I've never read anything that was steampunk unless you count the infernal devices which some people count it as partially steampunk some people don't so technically I don't think that I've ever really read a steampunk book before but I just love the concept of steampunk. I just think it's really, really cool and I really want to explore that genre. So I thought that this book would be a great one to start with. It's about this boy who works on this airship and the captain of the airship ends up dying and tells him that there are these magical creatures that live up in the clouds and in the sky. And he kind of dismisses it until this girl comes along and decides that she wants to investigate and then he kind of goes along with her and it just sounds really fantastical. So if you guys have any other steampunk book recommendations, definitely leave those down in the comments below for me because I'd really be interested in checking some more of them out because I really want to know what the whole genre is about and really see if I truly like it because part of me feels like I already like it but I technically haven't read steampunk so I can't fully say that I do or not. And finally the very last book I ordered from Book Outlet and the very last book I have to show you guys in this haul is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. I have been wanting to read this book ever since I finished Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe last June so it's been a very long time that I've been putting this one off. Whenever I've said that I love Aristotle and Dante people have consistently told me to pick this one up so I finally got it. 100% going to read it this summer because I cannot wait any longer but from what I understand the plot of this book is about two twins and I think it's their relationship and I think they get estranged from each other for a little while and I don't really know too much more. I don't want to know too much more but I'm very very excited to dive into this book. It's won several awards. My copy only has has the Prince Award mark on it, but I know a lot of them have the Stonewall Award on it, so this is an LGBTQ plus book, and I cannot wait to start it. So that is it, guys, for this book haul. I'm really sorry for subjecting you to two book hauls in one week. I know that's pretty absurd, and I don't think that's gonna happen for a little while now, because I'm definitely going to take a step back and stop purchasing so many books, because this has seriously gotten out of hand. But let me know in the comments down below if you have read any of the books that I mentioned in this haul, or if you're interested in reading any of them, or tell me which one I should get to first, because I think I'm going to get to I'll Give You the Sun first, but if there's another one that I have to read like right now, definitely let me know that too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!